Good morning, everybody. It is December 14th. This is a Monday morning update. Uh, I have some scripture for you. We did Luke yesterday in a Child is Born series, but I didn't get to the Magnificat, and I just don't feel good about that. So I want to read the Magnificat for you today. It didn't really work into the sermon, and that happens. And I looked at our sermon scripture for the next two weeks, and I don't think it's going to work in uh, either one of the next two weeks. And so I want to do it today. And so I'm going to read the Magnificat. And this is Mary. She's just been told she's pregnant. And she's just been told Elizabeth is pregnant. She's wandering up to see um, Elizabeth. She walks in. Elizabeth and, and Mary, the, the child, um, um, Elizabeth's child, leaps in the womb. And she cries out, Blessed are you. And Mary now is overcome with excitement. Uh, all that trepidation that was going on before is now turned into euphoria. And so in this moment, Mary says this. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor upon the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done a great thing for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel and remembrance of his mercy in remembrance of his mercy according to the promises he made to our ancestors to abraham and to his descendants forever the magnificat it's awesome and so i know i can't do as well as some people do with it but um it reads great doesn't it the magnificat is an echo um, an old testament echo and what you could hear in this is Hannah um, and her, her song about Samuel before Samuel's birth. And, and, and so I, I always tell you, look for echoes. Look for echoes in Scripture. And so this is most definitely uh, an echo of something Hannah. I talked a little bit about Hannah. You remember yesterday and how uh, Mary took on the mantle of, of Hannah in similarity. And, uh, and that's one way that it shows the similarity of it. So, But I want the Magnificat to stand alone, and so I'm going to leave it there. And I'm not going to do a devotional on it, but reread it and just enjoy it. It's awesome. And, but I do want to give you a little test today. We'll have some fun today with the test. Let's see how you do. And uh, when, when Mary, uh, after, after Jesus is born... When, when Mary goes to the back door and it's getting dark and it's evening and she pulls the curtain or how, whatever, however the door was, push the door open, the screen door, opens the screen door and yells out for her child to come home for supper. What's the name she yells out? Don't say Jesus. How you doing? Jesus is, Jesus, um, is a Greek name. Now, you know, when the writers write, they wrote the New Testament in Greek, and they needed to take this name and put it in Greek. Like, Peter was Simon, Peter. Petras, rock. And so when Jesus said to Peter upon this rock, he, he renamed him Peter, Petras, rock. But his name was Simon. People probably called him Simon. Paul called him Simon a lot. Oh, Paul, who used to be Saul. So um, Jesus, very similar. Growing up, when Mary pushed that screen door open, she probably yelled out, Yahshua, Yahshua, come eat. 
or we would say today, Joshua. Joshua. Um, he will save. It's a great name, right? And it was a very popular name back then. And so um, growing up, for sure, that was the name Jesus went by, Joshua. And, and as he got older, I'm sure that's what he was known as in the community and the countryside. In fact, if, if anybody, while he was alive, called him Jesus, it was the Romans. It was the Romans. And so I don't say that to, to throw you off or make you think, oh my goodness, we're saying the wrong name or something like that. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. It's just a little historical stuff there to let you enjoy that. And know that sometimes we don't know as much as we think we know about Bible, about Scripture, about the life of Yahshua. So that's all I have on that. Okay, uh, next week, the office is closed all week, and so we're not going to be here. I probably will do a Monday morning update. I uh, might do it from the house, but um, I'll do that. If you really need to get a hold of me, look at this magic little thing. You just call me right on that cell phone and I will I will answer as quickly as I can or text me and I'll text back as quickly as I can so not much going on at the church at all next week except we will be taping for the Christmas Eve uh, service and once that gets done which hopefully the day before Christmas Eve we'll have it done Rebecca will get the high honor and she will just pop that on uh, YouTube and Facebook at some point, and it'll just, like my Advent Bible study, which by the way, I, I owe you one more Advent Bible study, and I will get it to you this week, uh, so some week it'll just pop right on, and uh, so look for that this week, look for the Christmas Eve service next week, um, we, we have had some restrictions eased um, on churches specifically, and so going forward into next year, we'll have a board meeting and discuss what that means for us moving forward. And then, you know, in good and decent order, we'll decide how we want to roll that out. Um, I don't think we're going to get as much interference or constant change as we have been getting the last couple months, which was creating a lot of undue stress on, I think, you all as well as me. And so it'll be nice that we have a little more control over that. We can make our calls, and then we can go forward with um, a pretty good assurance that, that, that it's not going to change on us. So that'll be, that's good. That's good, by the way. So those are the big things that I have, and uh, I hope that you have a very blessed week. Um, oh, I should mention, you may hear rumors that the pastor is moving. You may hear rumors. And I'm here to tell you, I can confirm that. We are moving. But there's good news. We're moving in town. So I'm not leaving the church. We're just switching houses. So know that's coming. Teresa has found a house she wants to live in and really enjoys. And uh, we've always had to rush moves before. And so for once in our life, we thought we're going to take our time. We're going to find a house she really likes. And we're going to move there. So we've accomplished it, I think. And uh, so you'll get some update about that. So it'll be a new address and things like that. And, and I just want to give you the warning on that and not freak you out if you drive by and see the for sale sign in my yard and, and go, oh, no. So it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. Okay, it's all good. Other than i got to move a lot of stuff in the midst of a pandemic, which isn't that a great idea. All right. Well, God bless you all. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you later.